Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through some introduction about IM2000, IMT2000 guys. So basically for this, I did not find any architecture diagram or any clear information. So that is the reason why I am just going through an overview you can say. Okay, yes. So IMT2000, International Mobile Telecommunication 2000. So from this only you can say, so 2000 might be the year, right? Yes, your guess is absolutely right. 2000 is the year in which this is developed guys. Okay, so this uses the common spectrum worldwide. So basically, you can talk to your friend who is located in US or somewhere else, right? Yes. So common spectrum worldwide, which uses 2.8 to 2.2 gigahertz bandwidth. Okay, so it was also developed in the year 2000. Got it? Yes. So it is aimed for a C. Sorry, it is aimed for a seamless radio and network infrastructure cable of offering a worldwide range. Telecommunication service worldwide. So basically this service is mainly meant, you can say, for calling long long distance calls guys. Okay, so in movies or in some books you might have read, heard about trunk calls, right? So this is a type of trunk call you can say. So basically from one place to a far place you can do a trunk call. Okay, yes. So the main vision of this IMT is it also supports a network or data transfer rate up to 2 Mbps guys. Okay, so it enhances the security and performance. Okay, so this is all about the IMT 2000 guys. So now we are done with these cellular networks. So these are the architectures which we have discussed. Sorry, whatever architectures we have discussed about GPRS. Okay, so GSM and all those things. So please revise them perfectly guys because 100% there will be a question on among one of these guys. Okay, yes. So please concentrate on them. Okay, so in the next lecture, we'll be, discuss we'll be starting the discussion about the satellite networks. Okay, yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.